ride from Sevilla. Pretty affordable too. It's a few bucks. But now we're here and it is a beautiful day and it's supposed to be a warm day today so we didn't bring any jackets and it's kind of chilly right now. It's currently 61 and we're in the shade. I see some sunlight. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Today is a beautiful Saturday and we chose to spend it here in Carmona, a historical, culturally rich town located only 40 minutes from Sevilla. How convenient. And it's one of the oldest cities in mainland Europe, 5,000 years old to be exact. And to start our little adventure around this charming town, we are going to start with the Alcazar Puerta de Sevilla or Fort Carmona. Vale. <laughs> So we got in, got our tickets, and look, I got a cute little tote bag with sunflowers or girasoles. <laughs> I know it's probably impossible to see behind me, but it's really interesting. Carmona's position on like this giant hill because it's very strategic. You can pinpoint exactly where the enemy's coming from. From my understanding of the history of the Alcazar, it seems that the Carthaginians built the structure between the 14th to 12th century BC. And then later when the Romans came in, they kind of reinforced the structure and built onto it. This is a bit steep, but we're going to the Torre del Oro. So if it's not made of full gold, I'm disappointed. Disappointment of its finest. <laughs> wow, well we got to the top. And what a view. You get panoramic views of the valleys, the city. Almost every single building is white also, which kind of adds into that wow factor. Because it's a Pueblo Blanco. This is, this is just absolutely beautiful. It's been really nice to be able to look out and you can see landscapes, you can see rolling hills, you can see green. We've been in Sevilla, which we love Sevilla, but you know, in a city all day, every day, we don't get to see a lot of nature, landscapes. It's just a change of scenery. It's just really refreshing for us. Uh, we're already taking a little breather. Yep. We're just, <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure out exactly what we want to do and what route we want to take. But it looks like there's two beautiful churches over here. One of them is actually a convent and they sell cookies and sweets. Sweet. So we're gonna try that out. Yeah, and get some sugar energy in us. If you don't know about the convents here, some, this is only some, some still do like the old way of selling where they sit behind like a specific revolving door. They move the thing around, they take yeah. their euros. Hopefully they give you some candy so that way you can't see them. Yeah, and you never make actual contact with them. Kind of sad. It is kind of sad, but it's also a really interesting uh, experience. Yeah, a very traditional way of the church and way of being a nun. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the swap, but we're gonna tour around this place. The funny part about a language barrier is like, sometimes we're just long for the ride. So we pay two euros but we don't know what for, other than this little museum, so we'll let you know. Well, we're at the very top of the tour, and right now I don't know exactly where we can buy cookies. That's a big problem for this guy. It is a big problem. This is what I was really excited for, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm hungry. I don't know, maybe we can figure it out. Anyway, we're gonna try to make this vlog entertaining. <laughs> And we're gonna do that by dancing. Break it down. 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 The convent, isn't that a sin? Is that disrespectful? Yeah, is that a sin? All right. Dude. <laughs> that one's watching. Just lift it up. There. Oh. Not only did we sin in the convent by dancing. That was all you, by the way. Break it down. 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 Break it down.
So, I'm, I'm in the clear. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> um, we couldn't find the place to buy chocolates or candy or what, whatever they were really selling. Other than in the office, oh, pre-packaged. Yeah, they were pre-packaged already, which means not fresh, maybe. <laughs> He's just gonna walk home at this point. Back to Texas. <laughs> I went with a nice and classic guacamole and salmon tosta. They gave me so much and a little salad. Something about this area of Spain we notice is they always bring out bread and it's really good. We always eat it, but you do get charged a little extra. So a little fun fact, keep that in mind. So I ordered carne con tomate, which is just meat with tomatoes, but I knew it was going to be like a tomato-y sauce, and it's on a bed of like potatoes, so I'm normally not someone who eats fatty meat, but here, I don't care, because they cook it really well. It's, it's really, really good, but we could have split this easily. I think this is going to fill me up, and I'm probably going to need another cafe con leche. <laughs> totally. I am stuffed. I'm so full. But now, after that delicious lunch, we are making our way through town and we're gonna go to Puerta de Cordoba, which is like the gate on the edge of town leading towards Cordoba. This looks rather magical. <laughs> it kinda looks like beyond this exit is just a painting. This gate was built apparently between 1 BC and 1 AD, but it was redesigned in 1786. Still an absolutely marvelous piece of history. Um, and just with an absolutely incredible view. I mean, you can't beat that. I feel like I'm back in Texas. I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of pooped after that meal. And I gotta poop after that meal. Oh, what? <laughs> this is the typical preppy boy Spanish look. And I think Andrew could totally rock it. I could rock it. I like that. We've made it. We've made it to the Roman Necropolis, which is Roman ruins here in Carmona. Luckily, this is all free. There's a museum inside. There's a lookout up top over here. And we get to walk around for free. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. Go into the tomb. See ya, Indiana Jones. <laughs> So through this narrow alleyway is a burial chamber for a very high status Roman family. And it's really fascinating that we're just kind of walking around, you know, the entranceway to a tomb. It's kind of spooky. Well, that was super cool. Very fun. I liked reading about everything. I'm not the biggest Roman history buff, so I'm not gonna try to go into too much detail with that because it's always embarrassing when I get history wrong. <laughs> but to experience this and to experience something that's so historical was just such a, a treat for us and get to walk around in tombs. Like, that's crazy. And speaking of treats. Speaking of treats. We are about to go to a cafeteria. Maybe we can get some get some ice cream or a, a nice little coffee. So, we will see you there. We just got to a little ice cream shop and this ice cream is amazing. And we got two coffees. So this day is definitely, definitely on, on the up. Yeah. So unfortunately, our bus isn't picking us up till 8 p.m. and that's another two more hours. And we've, Cafe Con leche ourselves out, really. We're just kind of sitting here, trying to figure out what we want to do for the next two hours. We've walked around quite a bit, we've done a lot. Didn't think we'd be left with so much time. So we're just chilling. Look y'all, we found a nice view of the city. We actually came to the outside of the city to find a place to drone, <laughs> which is why you might hear buzzing right above my head. But wow, look at this. This is so beautiful. We're on like an edge of a road right now with the sunset view of Carmona behind me. And it's just, it's just so lovely. The time actually flew by. I know we were like super worried about spending three hours at a cafe. <laughs> And we did spend like two hours there and now we have one more hour to burn and we realized, wow, we didn't take any drone shots. So that's what we're doing. And we're also starting a new project if you're interested. If you are learning English, this might be for you. Um, we're doing a very simple English channel, English with Jen and Drew, where we're gonna do vlogs, but in a learning style. But anyways, if you are native or completely fluent in English, this might not be of interest for you. But if you're learning and you think we may speak too fast on this channel, go check that one out. Okay, well our time in Carmona is coming to an end. 
and the sunset here makes this town look absolutely charming. I mean, it was already charming in the daylight, but something about this sunfall, you know, it makes everything all orange and glowy and just absolutely beautiful. Also, these street lamps just give it a totally different vibe. So something we learned going forward is 10 hours is probably too much time for a day trip to a small town. Definitely. But overall, we tried to make the most of it and it was so fun. Yeah. This is a, a must-see town. I'm gonna label it as a must-see. If you're in Sevilla, it is a must-see town from Andrew. That doesn't really mean anything in anybody else's book, but in my book, it does. Your book of must-sees, which includes everywhere we've ever been. <laughs> uh, well, we got a caña and a napolitana, which are just like chocolate croissants, very similar to each other. And we're gonna sit in the park and eat them while we wait for our bus. And look, they wrapped them up so nicely, so beautifully. We're about to ruin it completely. Oh, okay. Andrew can't undo a knot. You know? No. A Krabby Patty. <laughs> wow. After he described the difference between the two, this one being harder, this one softer, this one with more chocolate, less chocolate, yours sounds better. I know. Cheers. It's stuck on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> okay, quick update. We missed our first bus, I think. I don't know, I don't know what happened. Or it never came. Or it never came. And now we are currently on the city bus, which is gonna take over an hour to get to where we need to go. It is what it is. We're just, I'm, I'm so annoyed. Well, it is 10.46 and we finally made it home. <laughs> right when we walked in, um, we forgot to outro and just start getting ready for bed. But we're gonna call the vlog here. And it was a crazy, crazy day, but we made it back and we really, really loved Carmona. Ciao. We made it, we made it to Corona. Corona? Okay, we just had a cafe con leche, so we're, we're pretty gassed. We're ready to tour. Gassed could also mean like exhausted, right? I'm gassed. What is the plan, Stan, my man? Going ham. I'm a big fan. Dude, we're killing it. I could be like, you might be wondering why we're in Carmona. Did I say that? Are you recording me right now? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I really don't know anything about this place though. One second. I just. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's kind of like a surreal moment in life. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We've made it. We've made it to the Roman necropolis, which is the site um, of the Romans. Which is Roman ruins here in Carmona. Okay. Which is Roman ruins here in Carmona. And they are very, very old. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, unfortunately, our train isn't picking us up till 8 p.m. Huh? Oh. So unfortunately our bus isn't picking us up till 8 a.m. and that's another two hours. <laughs> yeah, work. That's how he norm that's how he normally walks too. Photo shoot. This is just gonna be a pure entertainment vlog. Like only entertainment value is us because everything that we want us to do and show you is closed. Not true. Literally nothing's been closed. Okay, been occupied. Just like oh, one church. Two. Kanye was, Jenna's was actually better. Okay, in the end, Jenna's was better. What? <laughs> Say it like you're... In the end, Jenna's was way better than mine. 